Hey y'all, it's Corey with Everyday Man, doing everyday reviews for everyday people. As you can see, my house is getting pretty close to finish, on the inside anyway. I still got some work left to do on the outside. And as I was putting my living room back together, I brought up my trusty old, very old, free to me Mitsubishis that I've been using since I've been 20 years old. So they're probably 30 years old and they're literally falling apart and they really sound bad. So I decided to go ahead and get an upgrade. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Serwin Vega XL15 and we'll get with it right after this. So all my friends that know me, I am the, the, the sound guy. I've always got the radio playing. I got radios in my side by side. I got Bluetooth speakers everywhere. I have to have good sound. Now I wouldn't specifically consider myself an audiophile, but I do enjoy good sound. And in saying that, for my home system, I've always gone with a two channel system. I enjoy music as well as movies. So I tend to like a stereo system. I've tried the, the surround sound in the past, and those speakers to me just don't put out the sound that I'm looking for. And this house in particular is not wired to have it. So what I've got here, what I decided to go with is the SL15 by Serwin Vega. Now Vegas are from way back. Everybody knows Vegas. Everybody went to a party that had somebody cranking some Vegas in the 80s and 90s. And they always were really loud and really bassy. Well, I'm gonna tell you that it hasn't changed, but what has changed, I would say, is the clarity of these speakers. These speakers sound amazing. And I'll tell you, they really fill up this room. This room is 17 by 25, so I have a, a, a decent sized living room, and these two speakers will really put out the sound. Now, as you can see, they're large. In fact, let me get the dimensions for you. These speakers are 36 inches tall by 16 inches wide and 19 and a half inches deep. They're really big. Now, they got a great frequency response. They hit really low. They go, they'll go from 28 hertz to 26 kilohertz. And they are a 400 watt speaker. Now, I'm pushing them with an older Onkyo 8555 two channel system. Now, that's 100 watts per channel. This is a 400 watt speaker, and they sound amazing. Now, the owner's manual does recommend pushing them with 100 to 200 watts. So, this Onkyo falls right at the bottom of that. But I can assure you, they sound absolutely fantastic. Now, as far as that goes, they do have a 15 inch driver. They've got a five and a half inch mid-range speaker and a one inch tweeter. Now, they are heavy. These things are a piece of furniture. When you put them in your house, they are substantial. They weigh 75 pounds a piece, but they really got a, a very pretty black wood oh. veneer. And, uh, and they really look nice. Now they are rear ported, so you'll have to watch how close you put them to your wall. The closer you put them to your wall, the more bass you'll get from them. The further you pull them away, they'll really clear up. Now I've only got these about six inches away from my wall. I can tell you they rattle my floors, they uh, shake my floor, they shake my sofa. When I'm watching te uh, television or a movie, you can really feel it and it becomes very interactive. Um, these speakers, I'll tell you, I'm just, I'm super satisfied with them. You know, on any list, for some reason, any top five list or, or any best speaker out there, the Serwin Vega never falls into that category. And I simply don't understand why. They're a mid-range price speaker. I bought these two speakers for $550 a piece. So we're talking about $1,100 worth of speakers. Now my old Onkyo was probably only around 200. Now if you bought one a day, it's closer to three. So for $1,500, we're talking about a sound system that'll get your neighbors mad. And I mean that, Jim gets mad at me. But anyway, guys, I wanted to show them to you. I'm gonna try and put on a little something so you can hear them. And I know it's not a real good situation, but I, I just gotta do it because it's a speaker review. 
the microphone's not going to be the best. I don't know what you're listening to them on, but I'm going to go ahead and just show them to you for just a few minutes, and we'll go ahead and wrap this up. To give you a reference in the size of these speakers, I wanted to show you my setup. Now this is a 75 inch Sony television and this is these speakers next to it. They actually, they, they almost make the TV look small. But I hope you, you heard a little bit um, from that sound bite I gave you. These speakers, I really enjoy my bass, man. I'm an old school kid from the 90s and I like my music bassy. And I can assure you with that Onkyo and these speakers, there's really no need for a subwoofer in this room. These things are really earth pounding and the highs are crystal clear on these speakers. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll see y'all on Everyday Man.